hey loves and welcome back to my channel i am ijoma and in today's video we are going to learn how to make this beautiful bridal robe though i am not done adding the trimmings but i am done making the dress and the train is detachable the bow that is the tie is also detachable so i'm going to tell you guys and show you guys how i made this so this down part is detachable the neckline is detachable too so this is the fabric that i'll be using i want to use a doll face i will use this doll face to make a very short gown that she'll wear inside and then i will make the detachable train for her so i have folded my fabric and i will cut off the rough edge so i am using a princess dart for this so we are going to make a normal princess that i'll go ahead and measure my vertical lines that is from my shoulder to my bust point to my under bust my half length and i will add two inches seam allowance so i just marked the bust point i am marking the under bust i'll mark the half length and then two inches seam allowance after doing that i'll go ahead and roll these lines so you are free to place your vertical measurements if you have 13 as your boss point or under boss you can go ahead and do that then i'll go ahead and roll the lines so i am done and i'm drafting my armhole i'm covering my armhole after that at the boss point i'm going to mark four four plus half an inch seam allowance her nipple nipple is eight inches so eight divided by two is four right then i'll add half an inch for seam allowance but before i do that i'll mark my neckline my neck i want my neck width to be four inches and the neck depth you know this this um dress has a yoke at the center so i want that yoke to stop at the half length like i want it to reach the half length then at the half length i will come in by 0 0.5 inch 0 0.5 inch that is at the half length i marked four inches for the neck wideness the, for the neck width and at the half length i came in by 0 0.5 that is for the wideness of the yoke so the yoke will have a v shape as it is coming down it will become narrower like it will become smaller you can see it has a v shape now i have my neckline a v neckline then from from that area from the um bust points i'll come up by like four inches and that is where my yoke will stop at my yoke will stop at four inches above my bust point then i'll also mark my shoulder slant your shoulder slant is very important i used one inch for my shoulder slant so you can see i first of all i marked the neckline i marked the depth of the yoke and i also marked the depth of the neckline so i'll go ahead and cut out this neckline first of all so that i will not get confused my neckline is out the remaining part of the neckline is now the yoke so i will mark 4.5 at the bust point four inches at the under bust so i told you guys the reason why i marked the 4.5 i said that my nipple to nipple is eight right divided by two that is four then plus half an inch seam allowance i mark 4.5 at the bust point three four four inches at the under bust four inches at the half length and four inches at the allowance that i have connected the lines then at the armhole i will come down by four inches from the area where i marked my four and a half at the bust point i'll connect it to that four inches that i marked at the armhole area then after that i will subtract two inches from the side of this center from the side of this pattern that we are drafting now the two inches is for our breast curve and i'm not going to use a pad for this i want to use you know, an already made bra cup for this so i'll go ahead and curve from my under boss i curved to my boss point then i will come down by like two inches from that area where i marked four at the armhole and then i will connect like this you can see what i'm marking right now so this is not a detailed video of a princess that but you can as well watch one of my videos where i made a detailed video on how to cut a princess that i'll go ahead and cut out from the allowance line and after cutting that i'll i'll also take i'll also cut out the under bust curve i don't know if these lines that i'm drawing here 
it's confusing this it's, it's confusing you guys i will cut out my shoulder slant first i will cut out the center piece first this one that i'm cutting right now is the center piece so my center piece is out already then remember to notch your underboss it is very important that is if you are using a pad well i will use an already made bra cup to pad this soon then after this after this thing that i have done right now i will go ahead and cut out the underboss curve you can see what i'm cutting out right now this piece that i cut out is not needed at all then i'll go ahead and cut off the area where i did my upper boss tightening then i'll cut my armhole then after cutting this i will place the center piece on the side piece i'll place it in a way that it will cover the breast curve you can you cannot see the breast curve right breast curve right now right so i'll go ahead and take my boss measurements divided by four plus two inches for plus two inches for seam allowance then at the waistline i will divide my waist by four plus two inches seam allowance then i'll go ahead and connect and after connecting then i'll go ahead and cut out and that is it for the front piece so using this front piece right now i will cut out the back piece so i want to lace the back piece like i want to tie the back piece i don't know if you understand you can see what i have here i want to tie the back piece that means i will not add any zipper allowance at the back so i'm folding the fabric that we use right now i'll place the center piece first of all you can see i did not add any zipper allowance then i'll place the side piece and you can see the breast curve is overlapping the center piece the back part will not have any breast curve right so you can see what i did right there then i'll go ahead and cut out so this means that this means the back part will not have any center piece or side piece it will be cut together so you can see what i'm doing right now i will not cut the front piece separately from the i will not cut the center piece separately from the side piece i just want the back to be one then i'll also indicate where the neckline is you can see the neckline then from there i will subtract two inches i will cut off two inches from the center of this back part so that is all for the cutting you can see the back this is the front i'll also go ahead and cut out this yoke that i have at the front you can see that line that i marked at the center is for the yoke that the yoke that will be at the front part i don't know if you understand so i have my pieces i have my center piece i have my side piece and i will, i also have my yoke this black part at the middle i'll replace it with a skin net so this is the skin net that i cut out i added half an inch around it i used that black piece to cut out a skin net and i added half an inch around that skin net then this is the center piece of the front you can see what i have there so i will go ahead and join first of all the center piece and the side piece then after joining that i will come back and show you guys before joining my skin net so this is the back part i cut out a lining for the back part and i have turned the back part i also turned the armhole you know this dress that we are making is a sleeveless so i turned the armhole this is the front part i have joined the center and the side together i have also repeated this repeated the same thing on the lining so here is the bra cup that i'll use this is a round bra cup i'll go ahead and place it the way i want it to be but before i do that i would like to add my yoke so this is the yoke remember to cut your yoke on fold so that it will not tear then i'll go ahead and add the yoke so this is the band for the skirt part that is the net part i told you guys that that net area the ball area will be detachable so this is the band for it you go ahead and cut out your waist measurements plus one inch for 
allowance so this is what i have and the wideness is 2.5 on food i also added a hard gum to it so this is the net that i'll be using for the down part it is a very fine net you will need about 20 years i used 20 years of net to achieve that fullness that i have so i'll open up this band remember that the band is 2.5 on fold that means if you open it it will be five inches so i'll open up the band i'll go ahead and gather this net around the band and these nets will have three layers like i will gather three times so that it will be very very thick i'll gather the first one i'll place another net and gather on top i'll place another one and gather so that it will look very full and thick i don't know if you understand so here is the front back to the front part i am done joining my yoke i have a detailed video on how to make a dress with a tiny yoke i also have a video on how to make a dress with a um, center yoke so first of all i'll pin down the bra up i just want to pin it down for now so that i'll know what it looks like before turning with my lining so after pinning make sure that the round the center like the pointy part of that bra up is at the boss point of your fabric is at the boss point of your body so this is what i have i noticed that some areas are coming out around that skin net i went ahead to like cut it off so you can see the second one i also noticed that the bra cup is showing a bit i went ahead and cut some parts off so that it will balance so after doing that i will cut i'll go ahead and um turn this with the lining remember that i have joined the lining right so i'll go ahead and turn them with the lining but before i do that remember uh, if you check closely you will see that um this bridal this robe has a net pleated on the front body so i don't know if you can check the picture very well you will see that they pleated a net on top so i went ahead and pleated my net on top of this one so after pleating the net i will pin down then i'll go ahead and run a stitch around the shoulder the armhole and the down part of the net so this is what i have right now and then after that i will cut off the excess net then i'll repeat the same thing on the other side of this bodies i'm trying to do this before turning with my lining so that i'll have a very needs finishing so this is the, the side i'll go ahead and pleat my net on it and after pleating the net i will sew on it like i will hold it down around the shoulder the armhole and the half length so after doing that i'll go ahead and sew and then cut off the excess so i am done sewing then i'm cutting off the excess around the armhole the shoulder and the half length so this is what i have right now and this is the skirt part you know i want the inner part to be a very short gown so this is the down part of the short gown this is what i have there then i will go ahead and join the upper part and the down part but before i do that i would like to join the front and the back part so i am done turning with my lining and i'm also done ironing you can pin your net very well so after doing that i will join the front part and the back part at the shoulder i will join at the shoulder first of all before joining around the armhole if you want you can join the side before joining at the shoulder so this is the back part i'll go ahead and turn the wrong side out and i'll also reduce the shoulder a bit so that it will fit perfectly on the shoulder so i'll go ahead and turn it inside out you can see what i'm doing right now i will turn inside out then i'll push the front one inside the back part and then i'll go ahead and join at the shoulder like first of all you will turn the back part inside out then after turning inside out you will go ahead and push the front into it and then join at the shoulder so i am done shaping and ironing then i'll go ahead and trim off the half length and then join 
the upper part of the gown to the lower part of the gown so here is the net i have gathered three layers i don't know if you can see if i should count these layers you see that i have three layers there so this is what i have then first of all i will you can close the band you can close the band i go ahead and close the band now you can see i pleated on one side of the band then i'll use the other side to cover it then you also go ahead and turn this net you know i have three layers here so you will pick the upper layer and the inner layer you pick them and turn them like you sew on them so that the edge will look so neat so this one is for the detachable tie I want the tie at the neck, a total neck at the neck. I want it to be detachable. So you can see I folded it like a triangular flea. It looks like a triangular flea. Then the round neck of this person is 16 inches. So I'm trying to determine where I have 16 inches on this triangular flea that I folded right now. So from that area you can come down by 3.5 inches that is for now now i'm just making an estimate i'll still go ahead and like reduce it or make it the way i want it to be so i am measuring to make sure that i have my 16 inches at the lower part so at the end of the day i noticed that it wasn't enough so i had to come down more in order to get that 16 inches that i'm looking for that is 16 plus one inch that is 17 inches so i have it right now then from this area i'll go up by 3.5 i want the wideness of the total neck to be 2.5 after turning because this turtleneck that i'm cutting right now i will use half an inch to turn it at the upper part and half an inch to turn it at the lower part so you can see how i am cutting it out right now so i went ahead to check and i felt like the wideness of this tie is still much i had to reduce it by half an inch so after that you cut another one because it will it to you will have to turn it i don't need to understand after pleating your net on it you will use the, the second one that you are cut that i'm cutting out to turn the bow tie in order to have a neat finishing so this is what i have i have the two of them and i noticed that the the wideness is so much i had to reduce it by like half an inch so that it will be perfect after turning so right now i will measure the wideness what i have now is okay i have 3.5 i have 3.5 on the dot then i'll go ahead and cut out a straight net it can be eight inches long it can be six inches long or four inches long depending on how long you want that neck at the neckline to that net at the neckline to be so i'll cut the first layer if the first layer is eight the second layer will be four I want it to have two steps so that it will be very full so this is the second step the first one was 10 the second one i want to make it seven inches so i'm trying to cut out So I'll go ahead and cut this one out. The first layer of that net is 10 inches. The second layer, I want it to be 7 inches. So I'll go ahead and cut out my 7 inches. And after that, I will gather them at the side of that um, turtle neck. It will not go around. If you check very well, the net did not go around. It's, it was gathered at the side so i'll go ahead and gather it on this and after gathering the, the first layer i'll gather the second one so i'm done doing that i'll go ahead and turn 
the this piece that i gathered on with the plain one you know i cut out two pieces of that turtle neck so i will use the remaining one to turn it you can see i turned both the upper part and the lower part then i'll go ahead and turn out after turning out i will iron properly you can notch you can notch the round area so that it will relax very well so i'll go ahead and notch and after notching i will close the you can see you tuck it in this way and close so this is the gown you can see i am placing the trimming now i'm placing the trimming now so remember the 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 ball is detachable so if you are fixing this trimming the one that will be at the waist if you are fixing it you will not fix it properly so this is the the turtleneck you can see how it looks it is very fine so back to this trimming part if you are fixing it you will have to leave the down part you will just fix the upper part and leave the down part of the trimming open so that when your band crosses you will now cover the you will now cover that band with your trimming so here is the skirt i'm done turning so you will have to place the open part at the right side of the front like you wear it like a belt and then hook you add the hook there and the remaining part of that open part should serve as your slit so at the end of the day this is what we have and our dress is so beautiful guys so please don't forget to subscribe and click on the like button so that more people can get to see this video i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video please please do not forget to subscribe see you in my next video Bye.